Guys, we are back with another review today. We are at the Crepe Place. Instead of the That Crepe Place, guys, this was voted the best crepes in the Treasure Coast. So, I am so excited. I already talked to one of the uh, employees. Man, when I tell you, you're gonna see in this video, this place looks like, it, it, it gives you Disney World vibes. It is so pretty. Everything, they make it fresh. They, they always have a recommendation, one sweet, one savory, so we're gonna try both of those. All right, guys, we are at the crepe place. Let's see what them French crepes working with. Looking to get one of our sweet crepes, I would suggest, personally, our Lamoheim at the very top there. Our menu is ordered by popularity. So okay. The very top is gonna be our most popular menu item. So the Lamoheim on the sweet side, and then the Gimme Chimmy on our savory side. Awesome. I don't know why I'm getting like Disney Universal vibes. Like I literally feel like I'm like I'm in Disney World. It's yeah. actually pretty cool. So this is they're, they're kind of like inspired by that European kind yep. of style. As you can see, we have like our, our over there is like the little mannequin with the light coming out of it. Wow. Face. We have some pictures on the wall. We have our free book library right over there. Nice. People come in, they can drop off their own books that they've already read, or they can pick up a book to read and take home with them. Awesome. Okay. All right, guys. We are at the Crepe Place. How do you pronounce it? Okay, whatever. So, it is a Porte Lucy. So, I have actually never tried gelato. You guys are going to laugh at me. I am trying the OMG gelato, which has coffee, chocolate, and mascatel, something like that. I don't even know what that is. Here we go. One bite. Everybody knows what's going The coffee is rich. I actually do like it. And I even asked him, what's the difference between gelato and ice cream? You guys can comment. He even kind of said it's a little bit more rich. He honestly doesn't even know. Um, this is my first time trying gelato. Honestly, it tastes like I'm eating a really nice, sweet cappuccino or coffee or something like that. Um, the chocolate is, is really good. Melt in your mouth. It's very sweet, but it's not too sweet. Mm. I actually like that. Let me get one more bite. OMG gelato. It is OMG good. Guys, I'm actually at an 8.4 on the OMG Gelato. From what they're telling me, and from what a couple of the customers told me, I am in for a real treat. Look at that. Now, I'm not a crepe crep, crep guy. So, one thing that they said, if you're not familiar with crepes, you have to try a sweet and a savory. So, I'm gonna get right into this. We got the La Bohme, the La Boheme. It was $12. It is, it has banana, strawberry, blueberry, Nutella, granola, and coconut. Look at this. I'm going to cut this thing right in. Look at that. This is basically a big, gooey snack. Here we go. Mm. That Nutella hit, that crunchy from the granola. I almost cursed. This is spectacular. I was not expecting this, guys. I've never tried a crepe before. Look at all these ingredients. Look at those. You got the banana, the strawberries. Everything comes together well. The flavor is good. The Nutella is nutty, creamy. The granola just adds a little crunch to it. That is actually amazing. It is sweet, it is flavorful. You got the fresh, you got the fresh ingredients, the fresh fruit. You know what? I'm actually just enjoying, like I'm eating a meal. One more bite guys, I promise. Guys, on the Lobeheme, or the Lobem, I am actually at a 9.2. All right, now for the savory, did somebody order a give me a chimmy? We got the beef brisket, the onions, the gouda, the spinach, and the chimichurri sauce. Now, I'm nervous, but to be honest with you, I was actually nervous about the other one, too. So, here we go. Look at that. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Here we go. You taste the beef brisket. You taste the spinach. Now, if you're not knowing what to expect, I'm going to be very, very upfront with you guys. Um, is it good? Yes. Is it unexpected? Absolutely. It's just not a, not flavors coming out of this. When I think of a crimp, I think of sweet and, you know, like the other one, which was absolutely amazing. 
This is unique, it's different. If you know what you're looking for, I really believe you're gonna like this. Don't get me wrong. It's good. You got the beef brisket. It's well seasoned. It is good. The onions come together. One more bite. Let's see. Let's see if I can get in this. One more. I want to give it a fair review. Here we go. Got that. Actually, the, the onions give it a good crunch. What is this, though? I guess that's more of the chimichurri sauce. Guys. If you like this kind of thing, I think you're really gonna enjoy the Gimme a Chimney, but in my opinion, we are here for the sweet. We are here for the Lebeau. On this one though, I'm actually going to give it a 7.5, but if you know what you're getting, if you like it, I think you will enjoy this. Guys, if you are ever in the Port St. Lucie area, go and try you that creme, the creme place. All right guys, that was a review, Baldy out.